I have some Band of Air news. Yeah, roll it. Welcome back, you window licking addicts. Keeping those windows clean, I hope. And did you guys and girls miss me? I missed you, but what if I get back? Not an ounce of excitement, not a whisper of a thrill. You better have. Quick shout out to my wonderful channel members. You see them on your screen right now. If you feel like supporting me, you can also become a member by clicking the join button next to the sub button. And I also have a discord and a merch link in the description if you are interested. And I actually did sell four items from my merch store. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome sauciness. Uh, awesome sauciness. Awesome. The saucemer. Awesome. Awesomer the. So let's get back to the video. And damn, what a ride we had with the older band of air. The insane damage was super fun regardless if it was broken as fuck. It was still an incredible feeling doing all that damage. And I don't regret any of the insane overpowered shit that I did with it. It was fun. And you can't say it wasn't fun because it absolutely was and because I said so, okay? And this is exactly what the ring made me feel like. Like what a ride. What a ride indeed. I'm sure gonna miss you, Band of Eternal Orgasms. Oh, say less! <laughs> now, now it makes me feel more like this. Wait, 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 wait! So yeah, it was fun while it lasted. But I have some new information about the Band of Air after my recent chat with Brett Norton. You know, the executive producer. I literally took the liberty of messaging Brett directly. And by messaging him, I was trying to get some information about some concerns that I had with the recent Band of Air nerf. For me, the Band of Air seems way underpowered now. It's weird because before it was like way overpowered, but now it's underpowered. But I'm only saying that because according to the interview that me, Brett and Julia had a while back, he did say that the Band of Air will still remain best in slot. But that doesn't seem to be the case as it stands now. And I really wanted to talk to him about it and see what he had to say about its current state. So I asked him if they plan to make any further changes to the Band of Air. Since right now it seems like it's underperforming and way too underpowered versus what we thought or expected it to be after the nerf. To me and many others, the ring doesn't seem to be best in slot in most cases, and most prefer other rings to balance stats than use the Band of Air for just a 1% increase in damage compared to the other rings. And that doesn't even apply to all classes, because some classes get more out of the Band of Air and some get less. I expressed to him that the Band of Air, even without any testing, just feels off. It feels wrong. Like you don't feel like you're using it at all. And there is a noticeable difference compared to the way it used to be to the way it is now, which is understandable, but still I think it's just way too much. And he answered by saying that their internal tests, which were serious, but can't capture all possible class builds, showed that the Band of Air was still superior to other single slotted ring options for some classes slash builds, while the Band of Air and Ring of Darkness was better for others. A number of the rogue tests for example, show that the Band of Air was still the best in slot ring, beating out some pure stat rings when you built around the Band of Air. Barbarians got a bit more out of the Band of Air plus the Ring of Darkness set combined, and that was likely due to the fewer proc chances for the Barb versus the Rogue. Their measurements were based on sustained DPS over time. They generally saw a 2-4% sustained DPS increase from other tested rings, with either Band of Air hitting 3.5% to 4.5% more sustained DPS for some classes, making it top tier for them, but for other classes with fewer procs, the Band of Air by itself was sometimes not the best in slot ring. But for classes with fewer procs, the Band of Air itself was sometimes not the best ring by itself. But the Band of Air plus Ring of Darkness set would be above other two ring combinations, even if individually the Band of Air or the Ring of Darkness didn't outperform other single statted rings. So for them, hitting a good balance point with the Band of Air has been tricky, and they are willing to engage with the community on it if they have any useful data for them to see. We want both the Band of Air and the Ring of Darkness to be valuable, but we have to try and balance it for all classes. And not just the ones who make the best or worst use of it. And he continued by saying they'd also have to check on DPS tests with the new rings that are coming in the new module. And we're certainly not against buffing things if they're hitting too low. We're not going to hit everything, but we recognize some things like the Band of Air are important to the community. So as far as the Band of Air goes, we're going to take a closer look at the new rings to ensure we haven't power creeped out the Band of Air too soon. If the Band of Air is 1% better than, say, other comparables right now, it should take a bit for the other rings to catch up. That is basically what Brett told me. So far, according to the test, depending on the build, the Band of Air could be better, or using the Band of Air or the Ring of Darkness could be better. He didn't specify which classes the Band of Air works better on, or which classes the dual rings work better on. So as always, that is up to us to test and figure out. No surprise there. But they are still looking at the Band of Air, and they will see what they can do depending on what data they get from us with various builds and how those builds perform. So there's no guarantee we'll be buffed, but they're not opposed to buffing it either. 
for me, the band of air, even if they say it's still best in slot, it doesn't feel that way to me. I personally have done better without it. The band of air did need an adjustment, but I think the 4% damage output on average is way too low considering how much work it took us to get the damn ring. So we'll see if they make any more adjustments to the band of air's performance. But at the moment, the ring is definitely not doing well in my personal opinion. For me to consider the band of air worth grinding for, I'd like to see a more sustained 6 to maybe 8% damage output from the band of air total. Since it was meant to still be best in slot, but way less than the 20 to 30 percent of your damage that it used to be and just enough to not be considered trash at two to four percent so for me six percent to eight percent consistent damage output is what i would like it to be and i think that would be pretty fair but what i want and what they want doesn't always align i mean what's the point of nerfing the ring to oblivion and increasing the reagent drop rates if nobody's gonna farm it since it's underperforming so badly so boost it to six seven or eight percent damage and people will farm it more i'm not being unreasonable am i guys and girls I don't think I am, right? I mean, 8% sounds fair compared to what it used to be at those mind numbing numbers of 20 to 30%. I mean, you would farm it for 6 to 8% increase, wouldn't you? Anyways, that's all the info I have for you regarding the now nerfed band of air and possible change that might come to it, which will be probably a buff if it happens. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. But for now, I gotta go. I need to make some dinner and chill the fuck out. Galactic here. Peace out. Stay safe. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When